Howdy everybody, it's Amy from Amy Star... Yeah, can't even talk today. Amy Sparkly Diamond Painting. And guess what I have for you today? I have one of these to open up. And first off, I want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed to my channel because I am within 10 of hitting the 500 mark, which is amazing to me. I never thought I would get anywhere close to that kind of numbers, but I do appreciate everybody that has subscribed to my channel. And it does keep me motivated to keep going and getting through all my my diamond paintings. I kind of like having the end of the month of uh, videos coming up so that I plan on what I'm going to do through the month and I feel like I'm a little more organized and getting more done than I used to. So I appreciate all the subscribers out there that keep me making these videos for you. So I think it was Wednesday I did a video. I did the the unboxing of the Bella Safina diamond paintings and I said I had no purchases out there that I was waiting on. Well then, guess what happened? Wednesday night, Diamond Art Club did the restocks. And the one painting that I swore I was going to buy the minute it got restocked ended up showing up. <laughs> so, uh, at 1 a.m. on Wednesday night, I was awake and making my purchase. And this shipped Thursday and arrived Friday. So, that's how I ended up having a box here to open for you guys when Wednesday I did not. <laughs> I had nothing planned that was coming so I'm going to open this up. I've been waiting even though it came Friday. I was waiting till I could get to a video so I actually haven't opened it yet. So there are two paintings in here. Oh and these that my dog loves so much. Oh. <laughs> Had a sneeze coming. <sighs> so, I have a smaller one here. And then I have the one that I've been waiting for quite some time. Oops, boom. That was loud. I think that's it. Yep, that's it. What, the big one that I've been waiting on for quite some time. So, we'll start with the smaller one because this was... Whenever I buy one, I buy two to save on the shipping, and I really didn't have a second one planned. So I had to look through at one in the morning and pick the second one that I wanted to have shipped. And that is this one right here. So this is the Diamond Art Club box. Do what makes you sparkle. It has the QR codes for sales, instructions on the back. And the blue and the square indicates that this is a square kit. And actually, I think I'll just show you right off the bat which one this is. This is the She Remembered Butterfly. Oops. They have a whole series, let me fix the camera there, of these butterflies with sayings like that. I'm not really big on diamond paintings with words, but it looks like the Diamond Art Club words come out pretty clearly. So I thought I'd give this one a try. It At some point, I've thought about buying the whole set of these because I do like butterflies but I thought I'd start with trying one and seeing how they work. If anybody's wondering what's on my finger here this is an aura fitness ring. It tells me to get up and move every so often. It tracks my sleep, my heart rate, my temperature, all the goodies. And so I'm using that to remind myself to get up and move around instead of sitting here diamond painting too long without moving. So I'm not going to go through the whole kit thing, but it's really pretty washi tape. I've never seen that one before. The black with all the flowers. Yes, Raider. Raider says hi. Another pretty colored pen. I think the, the pens lately I've opened have been really pretty colors. So we got the pen with the squishy to make it more comfortable to hold. Let's see. We have, oh, a pretty flower for the cover minder. And this is a double magnet here, and you put this on top of your canvas to hold the plastic back, and then this underneath, and that keeps your plastic from flopping around if you like to do it that way. Or they just go on your fridge or whatever. And we've got the wax, and this does have a plastic cover that you want to remove. You put the wax into your pen, 
and that's what helps you temporarily pick up the diamonds so you can place them on the canvas. So there's the wax. Then we have the baggies. And because this is a square, we do have the tweezers and I actually need to put these tweezers right over here because the ones I've been using, one of the ends bent out just a little bit because I do use it to, to clean out my multi-placer. So that slight bend, it's still functional, but I think I'll just go ahead because I have so many and put that, <laughs> dog says hi. They always do that when I'm recording. So we got a small and a larger multi-placer and then we have the tray that has the stopper. So that is the typical Diamond Art Club kit for a square drill. So let's take a look at what we got here. Mocha, can I have your ball? <laughs> I think I should start taking it away before I start filming. So here's the little sticker you can put on the end of the box or do whatever you want, put it in a journal. I have been putting these at the end of my boxes lately, just the, this part, so that when I stack them in my closet, I can see which kits they are. So I do like to, to carefully open these plastic bags because I do like to keep them, put the diamond paintings back in when I'm done to keep them from getting dirty. So I will save that bag. And what do we have here? Well, we know what we have. We have drills. We have the thank you note as well as basic instructions if I can figure out which way to open it here. And all the, the websites, discounts, Facebook group, the VIP group, all that good stuff in there. And then we have the sticker sheet. She remembered who she was. And the game changed. So a nice little inspirational message there. So that's kind of why I picked that one. But I may end up getting this full set. But I have so many diamond paintings that I thought I'd just start with this one and see what I thought. So this one right up to the very end has 67 colors that's quite a few the size on this one I didn't mention that is a 55.8 by 70.7 so it's still a decent size and it looks like one two three Z colors here Z is the fairy dust drills that have kind of a glitter look to them and then for ABs looks like several one two three four ABs which are the ones before number 150 here, those are the ones with the, the mirror finish on the outside. So, let's see what we have for drills here. I'll go ahead and open them up. This looks like a lot of very spring-like colors. So we have, in Diamond Art Club, uh, the number or the bags are sorted by size or amount of diamonds rather than DMC order. So we have the purples, I have some blues here, 5200 is the very bright white, more blues, blues, there's one of the fairy dusts and it's a white and there are two big bags of it, Z3865, so that's a lot of fairy dust, it's kind of hard to see the sparkle but I do see it on there, you probably can't catch that on the camera. 17, 18, and there's another big one. That's AB drills there. Oops. My camera glass has a little issue there. It's cracked on the back, and I haven't wanted to get a new phone yet. So sometimes it won't zoom quite like I want it to, but one of these days I'll, I'll get my new phone. So that's 111. Let's see where there's another... Maybe not in there. Let's see what we have here's the Ooh, there we go. Look at that. That's a pretty AB diamond. That's the 119. And what else do we have here? Only one bag of the really dark brown 3371. 154 is very dark, but it's not black. 
And it, there's another fairy dust here, kind of a light purple Z554. And then this string is the ones with fewer diamonds. Not have it upside down. 3811, 775, 6021. That's one of the, the Diamond Art Club colors. So they have decided that they needed more colors than what DMC had to offer. So any of these 6,000 numbers are colors that Diamond Art Club has added. I don't think you can find those on any other canvases other than Diamond Art Club. And there's another 6,000, 6032. There's another AB, the 124. And did I get them all? I guess I got them all. Okay. Oh, nope, here's, <laughs> here's another strand here. I thought I didn't see them all. Um, these are strand with fewer colors. There's one of the other ABs, 126. Not a whole lot of those. And there's the other fairy dust, the Z3822, kind of a light yellow. And that should do it. Yes. So, those are the drills. Put them in my chair. Now let's take a look at the canvas. Here, I may have to roll this one back so you can see it all. This is poured glue rather than double-sided adhesive, which means that you can roll it backwards to help flatten it out quickly. It'll flatten out on its own, but if you're in a hurry, voila. There we go. She remembered who she was, and the game changed. That's a very pretty butterfly, and it does have some words here. Carte postal, looks like. Yes, carte postale. So I'm also a stamp collector, and I like any art that has kind of stamp-related themes, so that's kind of cool. This almost looks like it's a quilted butterfly, like these are different fabrics that went together to make this butterfly. So that'll be fun, because you can do kind of the outlining and then fill in each little section. And I didn't even notice that when I got it, so... Of course, it was late at night, and I was trying not to, to make my phone be too bright in bed when I saw the, the restock come out. So I didn't look too much at the details, but I really like what I see here. It's got kind of that wood panel, blue wood panel look to the background, but I like the fact that this looks like a quilted thing with different fabrics in there. And I do feel this is a newer plastic. I feel the perforation lines. Almost. I still have yet to actually work on one of these with the new plastic. And for those of you that haven't seen that before, the plastic cover is perforated so you can actually punch out and do small sections at a time that way, if you prefer. So I'm very happy with that one. 67 colors. That's, that's a lot of colors for this one. And as far as where the ABs are, I believe all those outlined white spots, we saw all those white ABs. Uh, no, well, that's 5,200. That is not, oh, it was the, the white, uh, it wasn't ABs, it was fairy dust. Z3865 is a dash. So, see a lot of it here. Looks like it's mostly in the background behind the words. Yes, that's where a lot of those uh, fa white fairy dust are going to show up is in the background. And I'm sure some of those purples, let's see where the, the yellows are also in the background here. I see some of them in there. So maybe the fairy dust, the plus, uh, was the third fairy dust. So I think those are more in the background and then the ABs are probably in the butterfly here. So number one, which yes indeed is all through the butterfly wing here. So that's how it looks like they worked it. Oh, that's gonna be pretty, okay. So these letters, the entire 
thing except for the background. Those are all number ones. Those are all going to be fairy dust, or on this word, that's going to be the AB drills. I can't talk today. And then number two, three, and four on here are also AB drills. So I suspect they're in the butterfly or in the words. So that's that one. Again, this is She Remembered Butterfly and the artist is Jennifer Lambine. And it is 55.8 by 70.7 .7. and a ton of colors there. So that's number one. So what's the other one that I have? I think if you've listened to my channel, you probably already know what's coming here. And I'm surprised that this one didn't sell out. I haven't checked it today. But it was still available as of a couple days ago. So of course this is Beachcombers Bounty. This is the one I have been waiting a while. I think they restocked it once and I missed it. But I finally got a hold of it. I'm just going to peek real quickly. I'm not going to go over the, the whole tool kit again. But I'm curious about the pen color. Since I've had some neat colors lately. Oh, blue. Very blue. Oh, look at that washi tape. Very spring color. And the magnet is the shell. So those are the goodies in there. And my, my big brown dog has a thing about washi tape. So my kiddo rescued this from her today she likes the taste of glue so anything with glue and especially washi tape if she can get a hold of it she will try to eat it so I'm actually glad I got some more washi tape because she goes through it if I don't protect it well enough but I just have it sitting on my table which is behind the couch she can sometimes get to it so boy that's heavy and this is a big one so I have seen this one done, and if you've seen some of my other videos on cross-stitch conversions, because I couldn't get a hold of this one, I bought the Heaven and Earth Designs uh, cross-stitch chart for this one. It was the max color one, but it's like six feet by four feet, something crazy big. And I was trying to work on it, but I wasn't that happy with it. So I went ahead and put the drills back into my overflow um, so we'll see if it ever gets pulled back out and done but now that I have the real thing here from Diamond Art Club I probably don't need to do the cross stitch conversion so artist is Amy Stewart this is a square and it is big and 98 by 70 so let's take a look at this one Oh boy, that's heavy. And this, the drills are actually still in the bag, so I'll leave them there for a minute. And this time I think we'll start with the canvas. There we go. Oh, a lot of colors because oh, the other page is not here. I'm guessing it's still in here. Yes, there it is. Whew. I was hoping that everything was good to go on this one and yes here we go look at how many colors so it is a sideways picture there that's probably a little bit better view of it and I do love the beach so that's why this one really appealed to me all the colors there are 73 colors on this one looks like three fairy dust there one two three four five five ABs there and because there are that many colors you get two stickers for it and yes this canvas is indeed quite large but that's the best way to get it to render with all the details that this one needs so you can see that shell there all these little pieces of beach glass the bottle even some of the ocean showing up over here. So one, two, three, four, and dot. 
are the ABs. So yeah, it looks like some of those are in the water. And on the highlights of some of the shells here. So I can't get it all to fit in camera, so I will try to fan it around here a little bit, but <laughs> even then it's kind of big. Lots of beach stones and rocks and wood and shells. This one's going to be a lot of fun. There, there are some areas here for multi-placing, large areas of the same color, but a lot of it is going to be confetti, which I do enjoy. And no, this is not, oh wait, yeah, okay, I feel it now. This also is the, the newer cover, plastic cover. So, yep, I'm making a mess. Let's see what the drills look like, of course, since this is big. Lots and lots of drills. So many that I probably won't go through them all. I'm sure there's a, another unboxing video one of their official ones, but there's one of the fairy dust drills. See, lots of blues. Lots of sand color, of course. There's a couple bags of 310s. There's 141, one of the AB drills. That's definitely gonna make the water sparkle. Lots of 402, another sand color. 452, 3849, browns, grays, so many colors, some greens, more blues, 3856, a lot of that, 945, <laughs> so many. I don't know if you want to sit here while I go through these, all of these. So there's another fairy dust or AB that's 129. There's the fairy dust Z 747. And there's another one there. Lots and lots of sparkles in this one. So, that is what caused me to have to do some more shopping on Diamond Art Club. But now that I have this one, it is going to be just that little bit harder for me to want to buy some more until I catch up with some of the ones I have yet to do. I finished two medium ones over the weekend. I worked some more on another medium one, uh, but I'll spend the rest of the evening working on one of my big ones, and we'll see how far I can get with that. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, hope your weekend went well, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you.